Hey guys, welcome back to AFC Curtis. I'm Curtis and on today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the top 20 players voted on by the CPL community. That's players, coaches, and supporters all right here in this video. So stay tuned to see who's number one. Okay, before we get going on this top 20 list, I just want to quickly say I'm happy to be back here for the 2022 season. I also just want to talk about the process of how I did the top 20 rankings here uh, quickly here. So what I did is I made a survey. I just sent out the survey, the players, coaches, ex-coaches, uh, support group members. I did the, the survey there. And what we had to do is just rank players uh, 1 to 20 on who we thought was the top 20 players in the CPL in 2021. I then took up all those results that I got in there by the deadline created an average there and at the end of the day I was able to find the rankings of what everyone thought on average of who was the best player all the way to who the 20th best player was in the league. So let's get things started here with number 20. Starting off the list here at number 20 is Calvary FC defender Karifa Yao. This guy ranks top five in aerial duels one, uh, duels one, blocks. I mean, this guy was crazy at center back here last year on loan from the Montreal uh, Impact, well, formerly Montreal Impact, now CF Montreal, to Calvary FC there. Uh, he was actually the third, also the third highest uh, minute earner on Calvary FC. Coming at number 19 is Pacific FC fullback Caden Chung. This guy was sixth in tackles last year, third in interception, second on PFC in total minutes played, and fifth in the league in total minutes played. And this guy was very clearly one of the highest regarded right backs in the league last year, and he comes in at number 19. Coming at number 18 here is Pacific FC forward Alejandro Diaz. This guy had four assists last year and finished fourth in the league golden boot goal scoring race there with a grand total of 10 goals. He was one of the best center forwards in the league last year and he comes in at number 18. Coming in at number 17 is Atletico Ottawa midfielder Alberto Soto. This guy had two goals, two assists last year for uh, Ottawa there and he was easily one of the best, most exciting attacking midfielders um, just in the league, plus especially there for Ottawa there. He was a crucial, crucial part of moving forward for that team there. So he finishes up here at number 17. Coming in at number 16 is Pacific FC midfielder Manny Aparicio. This guy was huge last season. He was a top five in assists in the league, tied for fifth with three assists. And he was also a big game player, scoring a big goal in the Whitecaps game in the Canadian Championship to help PFC move forward out of that round. And was huge in both playoff wins against the Cavs and Forge to win the Canadian Premier League's Championship, the North Star Shield last season. So Manny Aparicio comes in at number 16. Coming at number 15 here is Forge FC forward Omar Brownie. This guy was a big game goal scorer here from scoring the go-ahead goal that led to come, that started the comeback in the quarterfinals win uh, in the CONCACAF League last year to a huge goal against Pacific FC in a regular season matchup there. That was a game winner, I believe. Uh, Omar Brownie there was huge off the bench for this team and he comes in at number 15. Coming in here at number 14 is Calvary FC forward Joe Mason. And now the 30 year old only really played half a season there. He got 15 game, games in in the CPL regular season and tallied seven goals. He finished seventh in the goal scoring race and he only played like half the season. So if he would have played the full season, I really do believe he would have challenged for that golden boot trophy last year and he'll probably do it for sure this season in 2022. But for right now, he comes at number 14. Coming at number 13 is Forge FC fullback Kwame Awua. This guy was huge. He was tied for fifth in the league assists with three yet again this season, or I guess last season there. He was fourth on the team in total minutes played last year. He was very vital to this team, pushing on not only through to the CONCACAF Champions League this season from qualifying by going to the semifinals in CONCACAF League last year, but also helping Forge FC, a big part of that team, going to the CPL finals last year. He comes in at number 13. Coming at next at number 12 is FC Edmonton forward Easton Ongaro, who finished second in the Golden Boot race last year with just 12 goals, two trailing the leader in Joe Morelli there. And he finishes off the 2021 season becoming the all-time goal scoring leader in CPL history with 25. Right now he finishes at number 12. Coming at number 11 here is Forge FC midfielder Aliman Cisse. This guy was first on Forge FC uh, minutes played last year, ninth overall in the league. He was the leader in tackles in the CPL last year. I mean, this guy was the huge cog in the wheel of that midfield for a very good Forge FC team last year that, of course, continued to make history. And he was a big part of that team over those last three seasons, and he comes in at number 11. Coming at number 10 here is Forge FC defender Daniel Krutzen, who's one of the best center backs easily in the CPL over the last three seasons. He had three goals and assists in 20 uh, CPL appearances and finished in the top five in interceptions in the CPL last year. He finishes at number 10 on this list. 
At number nine is Cavalry FC defender Mo Farsi. This guy was the leader in Cavs minutes played last year, one of the top 10 in the league in minutes played. He got a, a goal and three assists last year in 2021. Uh, one of the best fullbacks in the league for sure. Hands down over 2020 and 2021 seasons. Uh, he finishes right here at number nine. At number eight is Pacific FC forward Taryn Campbell, who finished third in the Golden Boot race last year with 11 and is now the second all-time leading goal scorer in CPL history with 23 and is poised to break that here in 2022. He finishes at number eight on this list. At number seven is Forge FC forward Mo Babalui. This guy was the top forward for Forge FC in 2021. In six CONCACAF League games, he bagged two assists and three goals and was able to finish seventh on the goal scoring race in 2021 with seven goals um, in just over 20 matches there for Forge FC. So Mo Babalui, he finishes seventh on this list. Coming in at number six is Calgary FC defender Dan Klomp. I mean, this guy was top 10 in pretty much any defensive stat you want to look at in 2021. Seriously, go look at it. He is top 10 in all of them. Uh, he also bagged three goals for a CPL account in 2021. And this guy finishes pretty high at number six. At number five is York United winger Diadine Abzi. I mean, this guy was top five in minutes played across the entire CPL last season. He bagged three assists and six goals across the whole competitions there in the CPL last year. So Diadine Abzi will finish right here in the top five at number five. Coming at number four is Pacific FC defender Lucas McNaughton. This guy had the third most minutes across the CPL the entirety of the league last season in 2021 and finished top five in pretty much every defensive stat there is in the CPL that they at least log on their website. Um, so he's an incredible defender, great center back there, and he was one of only four players and the only defender this year to get any first place votes uh, from the people that did the survey. So that's pretty incredible and for that he finishes number four on this list. Coming in at number three here is HFX Wanderers forward Joe Morelli. The guy won the Golden Boot last year with 14 goals. The guy won the CPL Player of the Year last year, and the guy got multiple first, second, even third place votes, and he will finish third place on the survey. But either way, Joe Morelli was an amazing player last year, and he's gonna continue to be that, I think, in 2022. But for right now, for 2021, he ranks third. Coming in second here is Pacific FC forward Marco Bustos. Now this guy right here, uh, he played literally half the season last year, yet finished second in league assists with six, and seventh in the league in goals, uh, tied for seventh with seven goals uh, in the league last year. He played, like I said, half the season, but it was incredible in that half that we did get to see him. Uh, he got tons of first place and second place votes, but just got edged out by our first place uh, winner here. For right now, in 2021, Marco Bustos ranks second. Coming in at first place here is Forge FC midfielder and captain Kyle Becker. Now, who should be surprised if this guy finishes first place? I mean, he got majority of the first place votes in the survey. I, heck, I voted for him first place. Uh, the guy's a total package. The guy's great on both sides of the ball. He's, he's a winner. He's got that ruthless aggression that gets wins. And he's the leader of Forge FC, who's arguably full time right now, probably considered the best CPL team in the very short history of the CPL, considering they're the most championships. They played the most games in CONCACAF League and now they're in the CONCACAF Champions League. And he's been really that engine for that team over the past three seasons and probably going on for year four and even five here. So congratulations, Kyle Becker. You are voted the top player of the 2021 season. All right, guys, that was my top 20 list survey. Uh, so congratulations to the top 20 of those guys. Uh, is there any guys that you think should have been top 20? Let me know that down in the comments below. And of course, guys, you know the drill. If you like this video, definitely show me like it by hitting that thumbs up, that like button. Uh, definitely hit that share button to any people that you want to share this video to share that knowledge guys and it's always great to help me and my channel grow by sharing these videos so appreciate every share and of course if you haven't already definitely hit that red subscribe button and that bell notification so you can get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this brand new video about something CPL related on my channel AFC Curtis and until next week guys we'll see you then